The old structure that you see behind me is the old Pamban Railway Bridge built in 1914 to connect Rameshwaram with mainland India. The bridge was decommissioned in December 2022 and the train connectivity to the region was impacted. Now, a new bridge is coming up next to the old Pamban Bridge connecting Rameshwaram with mainland India through train once again. While the official date for inauguration for this bridge has not been announced, it is expected that in the coming month it can be open for traffic. The old bridge served for more than 100 years, but with age it was getting difficult for it to meet the needs of modern transportation. The increasing volume of traffic, clubbed with the need for faster and safer structure, became the main idea behind building a new bridge that can cater to the technologically advanced future. The work on the new bridge started in 2020 and was completed in November 2024. The new Pamban Bridge was conceived to address the limitation of its predecessor while paving the way for enhanced regional connectivity and economic growth. The new Pamban Bridge can accommodate heavier rail traffic and faster train as well as large vessels to pass through without disruptions. Lifting of the old bridge was done manually and used to take at least 45 minutes one side. Now the entire process is completed in just 10 minutes. The old Pamban Bridge was designed for the meter gauge traffic that was operational in 1914 but later in 2007 it was upgraded and broad grace traffic was allowed. The new bridge foundation is designed to support two tracks ensuring its capacity to handle future increase in rail traffic. New 18 visited the bridge to understand the functioning. We spoke to R. Srinivasan of the Rail Vikas Nikam Limited who was the man behind the project. Sir, can you explain us why this entire bridge has to be at this level and not be at the level of the uh, road bridge? Yeah, because this old bridge, road bridge is constructed, is at a height of height and it crosses a railway track. Obligatory point is this is a bridge obligatory. More than that, we cannot lift because our railway bridge requires for OHA vertical clearance and the bottom uh, the clearance not required. So this is a maximum lift which is possible because it is crossing our railway track. Road bridge is crossing a railway track. So this is a hurdle and a obligatory. So our bridge has been designed for this. Now this is three meters above this old bridge. Old railway bridge is about three meters above. Okay. What were the main challenges while building this bridge? Yeah, main challenges is about the approach the bridge itself is a challenge because always you can see rough sea. This is the condition most of the days will play with the sea. If the wind also but the roughness, no barges can fly. So we brought with with great difficulty all barges. And whenever sea is calm, only we can work. And that too, we adopted the different types of piling method because sometimes uh, when low tide comes, uh, rocks will be visible. So our boat cannot float. So we have to wait for high tide, then only we can start the work. That's why some delay has taken place. And we done Sir, what are the features of this bridge and why this is special? The specialty of lift span is it will lift vertically up to a height of 17 meters. The when they will lift it at 17 meters, both rail bottom of our new bridge and the road bridge will be at same level. It will facilitate movement of heavier vessels when maritime terminal demand one wants to move it. And moreover, the lifting is mechanism is earlier old bridge, it was done with manually. By 16 fellows will rotate and they lift the bridge. Here it is all mechanized with the electromechanical system, which facilitates lifting of bridge. Uh, uh, the two, within five, five minutes, 30 seconds, the entire bridge will be lifted. And again, same time required for lowering it. And the connectivity attack will come so the train can pass. So main, mainly time is reduced. And When can we ex expect that this bridge will be started? No, that uh, all works completed. We are waiting for the, uh, everything ready for uh, uh, commissioning of this new bridge. Thank you so much. The story of the old Pamban Bridge begins when British engineers embarked on an ambitious project to connect mainland to Rameshwaram Island with business in mind. The old bridge was a cantilever structure where the bridge is divided into two parts for the ships to pass through. For decades, it served as a lifeline for pilgrim tourists and local businesses. However, the harsh marine environment took a toll, leading to frequent repair and operational challenges like corrosion, speed restriction and closure due to maintenance. For lifting of the old bridge, close to 15 people were involved and at least one and a half hour time was taken. That means longer train suspension for ships to pass through. In case of the new Pamban Bridge, uplifting of the bridge will be done mechanically. Use of machines make the process faster. That means there will be more time for train operations. Just like the old Pamban Bridge created history and several milestones in engineering, the new Pamban Bridge is also all set to create history and stories in the coming future. Built using 5,800 metric tons of stainless steel and 340,000 bags of cement, the actual cost of the new bridge is Rs. 580 crore as against Rs. 280 crore sanctioned. For a century, the old Pamban Bridge stood as a mark of innovation and resilience. However, 
time and environmental challenges necessitated a replacement that could meet the demands of modern transportation while preserving the historical and culturally important link. The road bridge that you see behind me was built in 1988. Before that, the old Pamban bridge was the only mode of surface transport to connect Rameshwaram with the mainland India. The suspension of old Pamban bridge not just stopped train operation on the Bay of Bengal but also disconnected Rameshwaram from train connectivity. The bridge restores and strengthens rail connectivity between Rameshwaram Island and the mainland India, ensuring uninterrupted travel for pilgrim, tourist, and local commuters. Currently, train operations are allowed till Mandapam Railway Station, but with the starting of the Pamban Bridge, the Rameshwaram Railway Station, that is awaiting trains for more than two years now, will also get its life back.